channel. Today's video is actually the April classic edition of I Smell Box Box. So if you guys are curious to find out what was in this box, then grab a drink and stay tuned. So like I said in the intro, the box I'm going to be opening for you guys is the April classic edition for I Smell Box. For those of you who guys who do not know or who are new to the channel, I am a rep for the company. This is actually my third time being a rep with the company and it is an amazing company to work with and work for. Um, I know the other reps are just as excited this time around to see what boxes everyone is getting. We do have, besides the classic edition, we do have the YA edition and also the adult edition and I can actually tell you guys today that there's actually going to be for the very first time they're actually curating a Mother's Day edition box so you guys might want to if you're not subscribed already to their email go over to isolbooks.net and sign up for their email alerts and whenever Anything new is coming out, any promotions are coming out, you guys will be the first ones to get the information outside of the reps, of course. But if you guys do want to follow along, you can follow us over on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Nerd. You can follow I Smell Books on Instagram, as well as over on Facebook. There is a Facebook group page for the company. And we also have what's called a Second Friday giveaway where we play like little trivia games and there are prizes given out and anybody, a rep or a subscriber or even friends can just have a nice fun chill evening. It's like currently this weekend it's going on, it's going on till I believe midnight Pacific time tonight and then we're going to have another one in a few weeks again so definitely go check that out from facebook but for right now let's open this one up so that you guys can see what came in the april classic box now just so you guys know i did open this up when it did arrive the other day and i did take out the wiggly worms because they would cause a huge mess all over the floor and with the size of the box, that you can tell, the wiggly worms literally filled the box. So I would have had a huge mess all over the place. And not only that, me and wiggly worms, we kind of don't get along. So, with that out pop, here is your first cheeky sneak peek of our classic edition. And this box, theme for this one, was Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. So, I do have here on top, we do have a print. One of the, the first print is actually, it says, it's always time for tea, and it's actually the Mad Hatter. And of all the characters in Alice in Wonderland, aside from the White Rabbit, the Mad Hatter is definitely my favorite, because he is just so quirky and completely out there and like weird quirky in his own way he doesn't think he's weird and strange but anyone else who comes across him is like okay what's wrong with this guy you know he's just like not normal but to me i understand them go fig um but yeah this is a really nice print and then we also have a second print that came in the box and this one says, we're all mad here. And on here you can see Alice. You can see the Queen of Hearts. And I believe it was one of the flamingos that they used to play uh, croquet with. And then we also have some black and white images. Um, I'm guessing you could color them in or you could leave them as black and white images if you want. 
it's up to you. But this one is the White Rabbit. And then we also have Alice when she's in the shrinking room. And then the next image that we have is of Alice at the mushroom talking to the caterpillar. And the last image that we have is of the Mad Tea Party with Alice, the March Hare, the Mad Hatter, and the Dormouse. And then something that Terry did include in this box was a Books Read in 2021 tracker. And it's just a, show, a bookshelf that was drawn with the outline of books and it is double sided. So each side holds 50 books. So if your goal this year to read 50 books then you would fill in, <clears throat> excuse me, or you could fill in each book with the title and color it in if you want. Or if your goal was to read 100 books, you can use both sides of it. But I think that this was a really neat idea and I know if I run out of room in the tracker that I made in my bullet journal, I could definitely use this. So thank you, Terry, for including that in the box. Then next up, we do have our socks. Every month in every box, you, you do get a pair of socks. And of course, to go with this theme, this theme sorry guys, is the playing cards. So on this side we have the king, the joker, the knave, the ace, and I believe it's the same, yeah, it is the same on the other side. But that is neat. They're definitely sturdy socks and they're not going to fall apart on you very easily. Everything in these boxes is high quality. Terry definitely does a lot of research into the products that she wants to put into the boxes. And honestly, of all the socks that we've received, none of them I've had an issue with either like wearing through right away. They're holding up really well and they're all comfortable. So this is going to add to my ever growing sock collection from the box. Then next up we have a little, uh, there was a spare wiggly worm in there. We do have a little cup cozy and it is the Cheshire Cat. And honestly this is really cute and I do love this a lot. You can use it for a water bottle or, you know, a water bottle, a wine glass if you want or any kind of cup, or even just have it out for decoration on your bookshelf. But that is definitely really cute, especially with the pink and black stripes on them, but he's definitely a, a trip and a half character. If you know the story of Alice in Wonderland, you know what I'm talking about. Then we also have Mad Hatter's Tea Earl Grey Cream. Yeah, cream. Sorry, guys. I'm filming this late at night, but I'm doing the best I can. So I'm actually going to break the seal on this. If I can undo the sticker tape on the tin. So you guys can also get a look at this as well as me. We always include teas in all of our boxes and of course you guys are seeing me struggle on camera with this because I'm having a very hard time opening it. So I'll come back as soon as I have opened up the can the tin for you guys. Okay guys I'm back. 
Sorry that it took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I have to be really careful tilting the tin so that you guys can see it. But that is the Earl Grey cream tin of the tea. And honestly, I've had Earl Grey tea before, but you definitely do smell the cream. So this is definitely going to be a different tea to try. It is loose tea in the tin. So you would need like a little tea ball. Like you can go to Walmart or any of the other stores near you and pick one up. Or even a Keurig pod that you can just put the tea, the loose tea into. But that definitely does smell tasty and I can't wait to try it. So when I do, I will definitely let you guys know what I thought of it. There we go. Then next up we have a tin of mints. And it's, if I can get the packaging off, it actually says Alice's Enchanted Enchantments, curiouser and curiouser, and it's actually peppermint mints, and on the back it says they're wonderful, and it has the ingredients listed on there so that you can see what they are actually made of, but that is the design of the tin. And let's see if I can open this up without them going all over the place. My luck is probably going to definitely spill. But I can at least try. Maybe. And yet again, struggling on camera to open something without making a huge mess, if I can. And you would think by now I wouldn't struggle, but sorry guys. Okay, I'm not able to get it open now, but I will definitely have one of my housemates open it for me later on, and I will definitely take pictures and post them over my Instagram and on Facebook for you guys. So you can see the mints inside. Um, next up we have in this box, I know is supposed to be, let me get my scissors, sorry guys. Um, a mug, I know we were getting a mug in this box. Um, this is actually the first time I've actually gotten, uh, as you can tell outside, it is thundering over here where I'm at. So I hope I can finish filming this before the storm gets too bad. It's probably the Queen of Hearts just telling somebody off with their head, which means she probably lost the croquet match. But you never know with her. And this one is actually, it says, drink me and coffee on the bottom of it. It's kind of like the Starbucks logo, but it has Alice in the center instead of the Starbucks. And it says the same thing on the other side of the mug. And honestly, this is the perfect tea or coffee mug to use. And... Honestly, you can never have too many mugs in your house. You can always just rotate them out. Like I use a Harry Potter mug that I got last year for Christmas. But I may swap it out and start using this one. So I will definitely find out. Um, when I do use it, I will definitely let you guys know. Sorry. Um, it is perfect size, like I said. Or a cup of tea or a cup of coffee 
or even a cup of milk to have with the you know, cookies or something. Then next up we actually have what looks like a bookmark charm on the end of it. We actually have a bookmark here. It says it's always time for tea, just like on the one print. And it's a Cheshire cat on the branch and the white rabbit on the bottom on one side. And on the other side, it's actually the Queen of Hearts. And she's obviously having a temper tantrum. And then this little, I guess it is a bookmark. It's actually, looks like a braided cord. And it looks like a bunch of top hats are stacked one on top of the other. And at the very top is a teapot. You do it that way. And then we also have the rabbit charm on there. So that's one of the cute little bookmark type. I think it's a bookmark. I'm not really sure. So far I haven't come across a spoiler card. Um, I don't think there is one for this box. Then next up we have Wonderland Passport. So I will take out the face for you guys to see. And let me see. It is a pocket notebook. And on the front it actually has the white rabbit. And on the back, it says, no room, no room. And it has a faint drawing of Cheshire Cat. But inside, it actually looks like a passport. And it says, passport, snickersnack. And you can actually fill it out and actually put a picture in there if you want. But it is a line, a little line, line notebook. Sorry, guys. And on the edge is actually all the playing cards. So that's a really cute idea to have like a little pocket notebook. You can use it for whatever reason, whatever you guys can think of to use it for. I mean, I know I can always use a little handy notebook at times for whatever reason. But to go with the notebook, we actually do have a pencil. And it's like kind of like the purple psychedelic color, kind of like Cheshire Cat it can be. And then we do have that blue turquoise uh, eraser on the end. So that is also a nice touch. And then the last two things that we have in the box are actually two books. We do have Alice's Adventure in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And then we also have a second book called In Darkling Wood by Emma Carroll. Now with the Alice Adventure in Wonderland, it is a thin book, but it's because it's only the first part of the story. It's just Alice's story when she first comes to Wonderland. It's not through the looking glass. Like most people are used to seeing both stories combined, hence that's always a bigger book. But this is actually a soft cover to it, and you can actually feel the printing on the cover and the detailing. It is nice to see it is a white cover. And you do see Alice, and she's holding the crown on her head. And on the back, it actually has the little mushrooms. And it says, but I don't want to go... Among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. And that's just one of the famous little dialogues between Cheshire and Alice when she first comes to Wonderland. But we do have a little red ribbon bookmarker in here. And there are drawings in the book as well, the illustrations.
So this is definitely neat. I've actually never read Alice in Wonderland. I've seen the movies. I actually have the two versions by Disney. I've seen the live actions before from the television from when I was little and growing up. But I never got to read the book, so I was super glad that I was able to actually get a hold of this box. It was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to put in for the web search this time around. Sorry guys, I just knocked the camera by accident. And then the second book that we got in the box is In Darkling Wood by Emma Carroll. And the cover design is really neat. I do like it a lot. I mean, you see a little fairy up here in the corner and then a little girl on the bottom. And on the back it says, A small brave girl in a dark enchanted wood is bound to have the grandest of adventures. And the synopsis of this story, since I've never even heard of it before, I'll actually read it to you guys really quick. It says, When Alice's brother is finally granted the opportunity to receive a heart transplant, Alice is suddenly bundled off to her estranged grandmother Nell's house. There's nothing good about staying with Nell except the beautiful darkling wood at the end of her garden, but for some reason Nell wants to have it cut down. Alice is at home in the woods. It's the only place she feels at peace when she thinks about her brother, and she even finds a friend there, Flo. But Flo doesn't go to the local school, and no one in town has heard of her. After Flo shows Alice the surprising secrets of Darkling Wood, Alice wonders, what is real? Will saving the wood help her brother recover? And can one little girl defend something so despised and feared? In Darkling Wood is a charming story about friendship, loss, hope, and the power of believing in something greater than the physical world. So this actually does sound interesting. And I'm actually... It doesn't seem like it's a really long book. I think it's only... What? Maybe... 200 pages? A little over. 231 pages. So that's not going to take long to read at all. So this will actually get added to my ever-growing TBR pile, which obviously, as most of you guys know who are readers and love to read, when you set like a TBR pile and it gets out of control, mine definitely has, but whose doesn't anymore? So this is definitely going to be an interesting read, as well as Alice in Wonderland. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then you can go ahead and do that if you'd like. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you guys will get notified whenever I post a new video. Now I can tell you the theme, the next two themes for our classic editions box. The May theme is going to be 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And our June theme is going to be the picture of Dorian Gray. And starting in June, we're actually going to have um, collectible pins. That's going to start. That's going to be the very first in the series. Is going to be Dorian Gray. Um, I know our April white boxes, I believe, are sold out or are selling out. It was like the classic horror monsters. Um, I know the pin for that is going to be um, a miniature Frankenstein head. And then I believe, I forget what the adult themed is. But I will definitely look it up and let you guys know down in the description box below. So until next time, I hope you guys are having a great day. And don't forget to pick up a good book and escape into the adventure. Until next time, guys, have fun.